Let's solve this equation for y. Now remember your steps. Notice this equation does contain a fraction, or we do have a denominator here of 5. So as a first step, let's multiply both sides of this equation by the LCD. So I'll multiply the left side of the equation by 5, and the entire right side of the equation by 5. Now what does this accomplish? Notice the 5's divide out, and I have 4 times y minus 1 equals 5 times 2y plus 3. Notice I no longer have an equation with fractions. And now let's use the distributive property and let's multiply 4 times y, 4y, and then minus 4 times 1 is 4 is equal to 5 times 2y, that's 10y, plus 5 times 3 is 15. Can we simplify? Uh, these two terms are unlike terms, cannot be combined, same thing here. So next, we want to move variable terms to one side of the equation, constants to the other side. Let's go ahead and say, let's move variable terms to the left side, uh, just because it's a habit of mine. So I will subtract 10y from both sides. So here's the left side, and I'm subtracting 10y. Here's the right side and I'm subtracting 10y. And watch what happens. 4y minus 10y, that's negative 6y minus 4, is equal to, notice 10y minus 10y, that's 0y or 0, is equal to 15. Then we will add 4 to both sides. Now let's see if you can do this one mentally. If I add 4 to the left side, this term becomes 0, negative 4 plus 4, and I have simply negative 6y. If I add 4 to this side, 15 plus 4 is 19. And now let's finish by dividing both sides by the coefficient of y, which is negative 6. So if I divide both sides by negative 6, left side by negative 6, right side by negative 6. The left side simplifies to y. The right side simplifies to 19 divided by negative 6. I'll leave that as negative 19 over 6. There is my solution. I'll leave it to you to check.